I got a lot of selfish reasons why I want to get this this win, but uh, I'm excited. Get to go back see some of my old teammates. I heard champs getting inducted into the Ring of Fame, so it'll be a good a good atmosphere, man. I'm excited to go back and kick some butt. What do you remember is playing now? It's loud. <laughs> it's uh, it's gonna be extremely loud, uh, especially if they make some plays. They make any play, the crowd's gonna be into it. That's that's one of the reasons why. They win a lot of games there, so we got to go out there, start start fast from the jump, man, and keep that crowd out of it. You mentioned Champ Bailey, you're also going to honor Mr. Bowling as well. Um, you know, what, what did he what did he mean to that city and that organization? Oh man, Mr. Bowling was a class act. You know, from a guy who did things the right way uh, in the locker room, outside the locker room, he's a pioneer for getting business deal for the NFL. Just a guy that. If I were one day was ever to, to stumble upon a couple billions and own a football team, he would be a guy who I would try to model myself after. You mentioned the atmosphere there. What, what do you tell these younger guys about what it's going to be like, you know, when they go up there, the, the, the thin air, the crowd, all that? Don't don't pay attention to it. <laughs> you know, when I was there, we used to always joke and say guys are going to get tired uh, by by halftime. But I really think that we're in condition enough to go out there and handle those uh, effects that it's going to bring upon us. and and just play hard. That's all that matters, man. Keep them off the field and just make plays. That's the only thing you can do in that atmosphere. You know, limit the amount of snaps you have on the football field as a defense, and that's just playing lights out. It doesn't matter how you take it. We just got to get off the field. What, what, do you, what, do you, what do you see from their offense? Obviously, a veteran quarterback has been there, done that guy, two good running backs. Man, uh, I definitely think uh, the running backs is going to be the, the huge key of, of focus. You know, they can run the ball there, top targets. I think they have 33 targets per game, rushing and passing. So they're going to be a key component to this offense. Now, Flacco's a great guy who can stretch the ball down the field. And at the same time, you know, he's stretching you down the field and checking it down to the running backs and allowing them to make plays. So that's going to be a key for us to stop those running backs this week. A lot of fans have voiced their displeasure over the inconsistency of this football team. They're kind of frustrated. Are you, I'm curious, are you guys frustrated? Yeah, yeah. Anytime we lose, we're frustrated. Uh, it's just the only thing we can do. We can't complain about it. We got to go to work. And the best way to get that taste out of your mouth is to come back this Sunday and slap somebody up and get a victory. That's the only way that we can complain is by winning. <laughs>